baseball fans and welcome MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon it's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the New York Mets first pitch coming your way next and now your 2023 first pitch moments away and our starting pitcher here today, Jose Quintana. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Two two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two two now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Stayed with the fastball on all three pitches to put him away. Yeah, just straight attacked him. And those locations of the fastball is what really stood out to me. Book started him inside. Nope. Really good location. Then he went away for strike two, going kind of east west, and then finishes him off up in the zone with some good velocity. That's just great execution. 2-1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. Tough call right there to even the count. Such a big difference between 3-1 and 2-2 in terms of how the odds shift for the at-bat. So now 3-2. and two Stays alive. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. And that's outside, and it's 2-1. Otani stands at first with one out. Quintana throws over. Otani back in. He's going, he's Runner going. on the goal. Fought off foul. Two two now. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Lead runner around second. The throw to third, and he's out. Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now, for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose him. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Out number three. Welcome back. Starting on the mound in this one, Patrick Sandoval. I'm going to report on him, Chris. No, no, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trusted, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trusted his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats. Swing and a miss. And it's two and two. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Batting third. The second base. Jeff McNeil stands in. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Gritchick snags it on the run. Batting four. Here's Pete Alonso. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Two, 
There's a swing and a drive. Trout ranges back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. Mets leave one. Back here at the ballpark. Top of the second. Randall Gritchick now. Here comes a pitch. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Mike Moustakis to hit. The pitch. And now two balls and a strike. That one the other way. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Top of the zone for a strike. And the count is one and two. Inside just missed. It's a good take. Dave Lawrence assigned to work home plate in this one. Good umpire, Boog. Very fair, very consistent. Now, I did hear some feedback that he opens up the outside corner a little bit on left-handed hitters, which you know for me, I'd be kind of salty. So maybe something to keep an eye on and see if that factors into this one at all. Goes down looking. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. The 1-1. That's One, down two. and in. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Swing and a miss. And that is that. Angels leave one. We'll go. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Daniel Vogel back. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Next offering way upstairs. And another Good ball. ball. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. Now it's DJ Stewart. And a pitch. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And he won around. Ruled a swing. No score here in the second. Up the middle. Throws to first. And that quickly, two away. At the play, Francisco Alvarez. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Dice makes the catch, and that'll do it. Mets. Back here at City Field. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Andrew Velasquez. Velasquez. 
And here it comes. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. His first at bat was a strikeout. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Next one misses, and it's two and two. Velasquez gets his lead at first with nobody out. Check swing, now a look down to first. Ah, and he punches him out, he went around. Here's Shohei Otani, worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Oh, look out here, he's gonna come up ready to swing in this situation. Step off, throw to first. Velasquez, back easily. Good speed on the base pass, he handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Ground ball could be two. Over to McNeil. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors. Bottom of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Rafael Ortega. The wind of the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. The wind of the pitch. That one to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Oh, a well thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. So up next for New York, Danny Mendy. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Struck out swinging his first time. The why to kick the pitch. And it's even up. He's gotten into a really good rhythm. Sat down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Base knock right field. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That was one of those swings. It feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. And now here's Jeff McNeil. 0 for 1 so far. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for a strike. Back here in Queens. Now at the plate, Luis Rangifo. And a pitch. Rangifo. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Rangifo aboard here at first with nobody out. Check swing. He held up. And that's ball three. They say you win. And here's a 3 2. Hard ground ball base knob.
which is so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Randall Gritchick, the next to hit for the Angels. Next pitch is outside. into center base hit around third he'll score easily and it's one nothing always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first you'll often hear the phrase short to it long through it and that's a great example of it right there got the barrel in the hitting zone early squared it up with the well time swing and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field first and second here no outs Fouls one away and now three and two. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. On the ground to first, could be two. Slings to second, back to first, double play. Three, six, three, nicely done. That was a much needed double play right there. It gives him a really good shot at minimizing any further damage in this inning. the two on hey. swings and misses pulled the string on the changeup but the RBI single pushes across a run it's now a one nothing ball game you're welcome back bottom four and now the DH Pete Alonso 3-1 now. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Daniel Vogel back at the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. The 1-1. And it's strike two. Just couldn't get that one down. And it's really just about catching the ball with the bat. Puts a bunt down. As the pitcher brings it in for the out, and the runner advances to second. DJ Stewart up now for the Mets. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Two-two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Kicks and fires. Rip to first. Caught. Throw behind the runner. They've got him doubled off. Back here at the ballpark, and now Matt Thice. Leading off the The catcher, Matt Thice. The pitch. And fouled off. And the pitch. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. So in now for the Angels, Andrew Velasquez. Picked up a base hit to center his first time off. One down, base is empty. Outside. Action in the Mets bullpen. Drew Smith getting ready to go. Got a hard-throwing right-hander up as well. And a pitch. That catches the corner. ripped and this one could be extra bases and that's going to get into the corner he's in at second with a one out double a couple of hits in a row for him here he really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep Drew Smith will take over here well walks have certainly been an issue for him this season so we'll see what kind of command he has so the lineup flips over 
Here's the second baseman, Eduardo Escobar. And a ground ball to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Now that designated hit. Shohei Otani up to the dish. He's 0 for 1. Here's a 1 1. Two balls, one strike. Velasquez at third with two away. Swung on, belted. That one is back. That's down. One hops off the wall. He's in safely at second. A run comes in on the play. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay. Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. And safe. It's a stolen base. And in this game, you got to take what the other team is giving you. And right there, they were giving him a steal at third base. Didn't check his lead. Catcher doesn't throw very well. So you got to take that back. Get your team that much closer to scoring a run. Nope. That one just misses. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Next pitch misses, and the count's full. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. The run scores from third. It's three zip. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Mike Trout, the 25th overall pick in the 2009 draft. He was actually a compensation pick for the Angels for the free agent loss of Mark Teixeira when he signed with the New York Yankees. Got him looking for the K. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. And now the lefty. Next offering is outside. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Kicks and deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Rafael Ortega stands in. He's over one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next one just misses. Now two and two. Doubled up on the slider away. Two seamer here. Let's watch and see. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball. Pitch after pitch in that at bat. And evidently there was no answer for it. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, two away. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. That one fouled off, two and two. Alvarez, the runner at first with two gone. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The pitch. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Full extension makes the catch. Great diving catch to end the inning after the pitcher battles through a tough one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. So in now for the Angels, Randall Gritchick. 
Two and one now. And that's outside. You know, these Angels really impressed me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. So digging in, Mike Moustakis, one for two. Here's a one-two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. That one ripped. And that ball is gone. That'll fire up the dugout. His 19th home run of the year, it's 4-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Trevor Gott taking over on the mound. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. That one is absolutely belted. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And into second easily with a two out double. All over that one right there. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now it's gonna be Andrew Velasquez. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, two strikes. And a base hit into right. And they hold the runner at third base as they decide not to risk the send with two away. And next for L.A., Eduardo Escobar. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The one-two. Hard ground ball, base knock. In comes the run from third, and the lead is up to five. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now, Shohei Otani. Two outs. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. So two runs. Bottom of the sixth inning, and now Francisco Lindor. Here comes a pitch. That misses, now two balls and a strike. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. The pitch. Good eye right there. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Liner, base hit.
Now bad. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. A couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonzo. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs, Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Well, that right there erases the chance at the inning ending double play. So good job on the bases to move up on the wild pitch. Changes the outlook of the inning in a pretty big way. Now all leave it up. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one is gone. An absolute blast to left. And they cut into the lead. It's 5-2. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Chase Silson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. Hits the fence. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. These days, when you see a ball come off the bat like that, I mean, the first thing you want to know as a spectator, what was the exit velocity? Feed to second, that's one, and that's two. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Sam Kunra. Power slider guy, boo. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. Number 45. Ripped into right field, base hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Here's Mike Trout. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Next pitch just misses. The count now two and two. Just off the inside edge. And now filled up. Righty delivers. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. 3-2 on the way. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. Oh, when it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Left-hand hitter waits. Off the mark there. And yeah, that's ball two. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Swing and a miss. And the count is two and two. And there's a the ball. Right-handed reliever. That's towards center. That's out number two. So first and second with two outs. And now the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. He's already homered in this game. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. That was a moonshot. His second home run of the game. And they throw three on the board. It's 8-2. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. 
Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the play, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Adam Kolarik. This softball's been really good against left-handed hitters. And here is Matt Theis. The pitch. Theis checks his swing, appeal to third, didn't go. And down on strikes he goes, and that is that. But the big blow of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. Set for the last half of the seventh, and now the catcher comes up to him, Francisco Alvarez. The 1-1 is fouled off. And the righty deals. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Line drive, knocks it down. He puts it in his pocket, safe at first without a play. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's gonna make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. Next pitch is outside. Ortega, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Fastball in for a strike. It's two and two. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. He was all over that one. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. Got him looking, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now Francisco so Lindor strong. comes up to the plate. Lindor. Next pitch is downstairs. High fly ball out towards left field. Back there. Up against the wall and brings it in. This one pretty well decided at this point. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Angels eight and the Mets two. And welcome back. Now here is Andrew Velasquez. We talk about guys with good speed and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Falling behind two and one. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases and he just takes it away. Now back. Eduardo Escobar digs in now. Basketball. Swing and a miss. One and two. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really... McNeil over to second, throw to first, oh, see. And at first, Shohei Otani, the next to hit for the Angels. One for three.
On the ground to second, might be two. Flips for one, and it's a double play to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Angels eight and the Mets two. Back here at City Field. Now it's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Fouls one off, two and two. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. I mean, there aren't many curveballs in the sport today that break like that thing does. Huge movement. It's so difficult to get on the same plane and even think about squaring it up, let alone get a piece and hope he throws something else to keep the at-bat alive. The next pitch misses, and that's ball three. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. We'll see another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Riding to the plate. Got him swinging. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms. It gets stability from all of their performances. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Makes the catch up against the wall. Nothing doing for the Met. Back here in Queens. All set to start the ninth in this one. And here's the first baseman, Luis Rangifo. Cap dances out of the way of that one. Hit hard on the ground is short. Lindor on the first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. And now batting Mike Trout. Mike Trout. And a pitch. And that's ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. The 1-1. One, one. In the air, out towards right center. Stewart has a beat on it. Pulls it in, two away. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. The third base Digging in, in, Mike Moustakis. Moustakis. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Step off throw to first, and he's back in there. Trout leads off first with two down to the inning. Another throw over, and they're keeping him close. Next pitch is outside. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. That one is hammered right field. That's back there. Out of here. He circles the bases. His 13th home run of the season. It's 10-2. to That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Now it's Hunter Renfro. And here it comes. Foul ball. And a one two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The one two. Good job to fight that one off. Oh, and now the count is even.
Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And that one is lifted in the air. Nimmo has it sized up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Two-run shot for the Angels this inning. It's now a 10-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. Last chance for the home team. And now it's going to be DJ Stewart. That just misses. And now three balls and a strike. And there's ball four. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. And now two and one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Next offering in the dirt. Three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Swing and a miss. And it's three and two. Popped in the air. Left field. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. And there's one away. Now the left fielder, Rafael Ortega. Ortega. And the right-hander deals. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Well, he froze him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball is going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Down to their final strike. Foul ball still a one and two count. That's inside. That's well, turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. The next Three. offering misses, and the count's full. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Richick going back on it. Racing back some more. And forget it. A shot to left. His second of the year. And they cut into the deficit. It's 10-4. He got on plane with that high fastball, but look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. So up next, Brandon Nimmo. Oh, and now this one's crushed. This one's on its way and gone. They go back to back. His 19th home run of the year, it's 10-5. Back to back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in the lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. New arm out of the bullpen, Matt Moore. He last pitched two days ago. Here's Francisco Lindor. One, two now. And a ball evens the count. Just off the outside edge. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. 
That is if you are the offensive side of it. Bullpen activity starting up now. Kenny Rosenberg, the left-handed reliever, appears to be getting loose. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, Boop, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. And your final, 10 to 5. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.